Hello and welcome to Community Chats. I'm your host, Ali Hammer, and today we're joined with Brad Blythe, the CTO from Flybys. Brad, we are so excited to have you on the show today. And while I'm sure most of our audience probably know exactly what Flybys is, for those who aren't aware, can you tell us a little bit about Flybys? Sure, Ali, and thanks for having me. Uh, Flybys, for, yeah, for anybody who doesn't know, is Australia's largest loyalty program. Uh, so, uh, roughly started in 1994. Uh, we started by three major companies. So at the time it was Coles Meyer, which is now known as, as West Farmers, uh, Shell uh, and NAB uh, as a banking partner. So those three uh, companies got together and decided to start a program for everyday Australians. At the time, um, the loyalty program industry was fairly well dominated by flight programs, so your Qantas and your ANSET programs, uh, and they saw an opportunity to create something unique and special, which was a loyalty program for everyday Australians who were just rewarded for doing their day-to-day -day tasks, so buying their groceries and, and things like that, uh, and giving them an opportunity to be part of a program and to capitalise on some of that expenditure through frequent and loyal spending in some of those brands that those, those companies had. Um, so that was started over 25 years ago and it's continued along the same lines ever since. So Flybys, uh, like I said, is, is, is Australia's largest but also most rewarding program. So we really try and give back rewarding everyday Australians for just doing what they're doing. Uh, our peak periods are usually around the festive seasons. Uh, so Christmas coming up is going to be a really big time for us. Uh, and the great thing about the program is that it kind of enables its members and it's got you know close to 9 million members uh, across two thirds of Australian households. Uh, it allows them to kind of um, enjoy those periods without some of the financial stress that they might have with kind of you know affording the big dinners or the uh, buying the presents for their kids. Like it really takes some of that pressure off uh, and allows people to capitalize on the, the points that they've earned through, through a number of different brands. So it's in over 25 major um, brands through Australia. Uh, and that's really kind of the purpose of Flybys. It is so great to see such a valuable loyalty program available for just everyday Australian consumers. And I personally love Flybys and get so excited when you know I get my voucher or my rewards. So it's really cool. So for those who don't know, Brad, what is Stacks and how has Stacks helped your organisation with with AWS? Yeah, so Flybys um, is it has gone through quite a transformation over the last two years. So, for those who follow the news, uh, so Flybys has kind of stood on its own two feet as a joint venture between Coles and West Farmers. Uh, and as part of that, we really wanted to invest in um, updating the technology uh, as part of some of the new things that we wanted to do. Stacks was uh, an option for us that we went with in terms of trying to accelerate some of that cloud migration. So Flavos at the time uh, was very heavily on-premise uh, with a really strong ambition to get into a cloud infrastructure. What Stacks let us do uh, is essentially accelerate that journey. And Stacks as a platform is basically kind of like a wrapper around AWS. So for anybody who's ever done uh, a cloud, you know, big cloud migration project before, Typically, the way you start is you kind of define your workloads, like so what is it you run and what's the purpose of those things. Uh, after that, you kind of break those things up into different network zones, so VPCs. You go through some of your account structure, your tagging, your security controls, and you kind of go through this framework. Usually, the, the AWS Well Architecting Framework is a good example of some of these things. Um, once you do that, you kind of start moving things across. But realistically, what you've got to do is you've got to create automated tools for building that infrastructure so that it's repeatable and it's secure and things like that. So what Stacks has managed to do is take some of those tasks and turn them into a platform. So out of the box, what you do is, you know, you still go through the defining of your workloads, uh, but now you've got the option to use Stacks as a platform to kind of um, Pre come up with pre-configured and pre-built um, architecture frameworks that are part of the AWS um, well-architected uh, framework structure that they already have existing and take some of that heavy lifting out. So if you were doing a lot of these, they're kind of very similar, like I've done a few of these now. Um, those repeatable uh, pieces of the migration um, are kind of taken, taken away from you in terms of stacks and, and it really helps you get up and running sooner. Uh, something like that program would typically take, you know, 
from defining what you need through to doing some of the migration and getting your first workloads up and running would take kind of eight to 10 weeks. Wow. Um, but then flybys were managed to cut it down to about three weeks. Wow, um, Which is a, yeah, a huge benefit and something that, that flybys enjoyed to start to get past some of those early migration tasks really early. That's amazing. I mean, I actually personally didn't know exactly what stacks do. I knew a high level, but you explained that so eloquently. So thank you. So which features of stacks do you use? Because I know there are quite a few features. So yeah, what do you guys use? Yeah, so so as part of that journey, like I was saying, like you get this this platform that you can go and start moving stuff into straight away that you can feel confident around the structure and the security. Um, but what it also does is it comes with a bunch of tooling um, around cost management, checking your security controls, uh, checking some of your resilience and your uptime and stability of some of your components. So now that Flybys is, is migrated across and we're 100% in the cloud of all our workloads, which was great, um, we're starting to get into some of that finer level detail. So obviously when you move something to the cloud for the first time, it might not always be um, built so that it's working optimally in that environment. What we're using the tools for now is to go through and have a look at some of the assets and the applications that we've moved across and go, you know, could that work better? Is there a better way to do that thing? Should we rewrite some of that application? Um, is it as secure as it could be? Where are some of the um, improvements that we can make across the platform? So we're really getting into those, some of those visual tools that, that really highlight some of those opportunities. So oh, awesome. I mean, Flybys moved to the AWS cloud only 18 months ago. So can you give us any insight into how being on the cloud has actually benefited your customers and helped grow your business as well? Because you said 9 million people utilize the Flybys platform. So that's incredible. Yeah, well, like, you know, part of being a loyalty program and a very customer centric program, we want to give back as much to members, much value with members as we possibly can. So being able to run that company or being able to run flybys as efficiently and as cost effectively as possible is obviously really valuable, firstly. So we can, that manages to, uh, or gives us more levers to give more value back to members. We obviously, um, our holders are very um, sensitive and precious data. So we have a lot of, our customers and our members put a lot of trust in the program by providing us lots of insights, what they're spending and some of the things that they are interested in versus not. Um, in order to really act responsibly with that data, we need to make sure that we've got the highest level of security and protecting that, that information. So the cloud has helped us really put some um, really stronger and more up-to-date controls around some of that, which lets us move quickly, but also really reassure ourselves that we're um, keeping that data as secure as possible. Um, so probably one of the biggest benefits though as well is our ability just to day to day to do our jobs. So um, for us, things like running campaigns across so many different members, um, crunching that data and doing some of the things that involve getting those, those offers out to members is, is quite a heavy task on our infrastructure. Um, we've managed to get performance improvements of about 1600%. Uh, on some of those things. So it cuts a task down that would have normally taken a day to go through and get a get an offer together, make sure you're sending that offer to the right people, um, down to like, you know, uh, less than hours, you know, kind of minutes type areas. That really has improved the way we can function as a business. It means that we can get things out to our members quicker. It means that we can run multiple offers now within a day that we weren't able to do before. If we see something that happens throughout a day, um, then we can, so like a, um, in today's environment, changing uh, changing conditions around COVID and, and the responsibilities of supermarkets and what they can and can't do. We're able to react quickly to that and get what we need to get out the door to our members really quickly. Wow, Brad, this is incredible. And I, as you can see, I've been smiling the entire time just listening. So what's next for Flybys? I mean, you guys have come such a long way and done so many cool projects. Is there anything exciting that someone like myself who is a customer can look forward to? Yeah, so, so obviously, like I was saying, the last 12 months, we really... Um, we've got a lot of great things to show for it, but we, um, we've obviously been getting our thing, uh, getting a house in order with some of this cloud migration. Um, that set us up for the, for the next two months really well. So we want to really, um, you know, give back to our members in terms of more ways to earn points, so more partnerships. We recently onboarded uh, Catch, which was a favourite for members. 
Um, there's a couple of other partnerships that we want to do, but we want to make sure that we have uh, whatever partnerships are most valuable to our members, whatever way that we think that they can get the most value out of the program, we're going to go and look for those partnerships that make sense uh, and start um, get, getting some of those partners on board with the program so that our members can, can really enjoy and, and use the kind of brands that they're used to using and getting rewarded for that. Um, as part of that as well, we want to make sure that they can redeem and they can use these points properly. So being able to use the points wherever they want, however they want, um, when they want to use them um, is going to be really important. We've just launched a, a payment product called FlightPay. Um, so we'll be looking at how we can use that and pull it all together to just make the program really easy to use and really rewarding, um, as well as, you know, branching out into some other different areas around what people spend their money on and how they can get rewarded. Uh, well, I'm excited. So, Brad, thank you so much for the chat today. I've learned so much as well. So I really appreciate your time. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Yeah, bye.